Okay, let's try this again. Since I just had a horribly failed stream five minutes ago, let's try and get this one working. Um, so... Uh, right. Okay. Let's check the stream delay. It's probably going to be enormous, but... Oh well. Hopefully the chat delay isn't too enormous. see the chat. Okay, so the chat delay seems to be extraordinary, but, uh, you know, what can you do? I am put up with it. Just waiting for confirmation of chat window actually working on my side. Uh, can't actually see if anyone's in the chat. or watching the stream. That's really useful. Uh, okay, there is one person in. Okay. Can't see any chat posts, that's always good. Uh. Where's the chat? Mm. Do 
I need to It's going to be awkward. I'm going to have to do it like this. Okay. Right, I can see the chat now, but it's going to end up in a little window like that because otherwise the chat isn't working on my PC. So my second window option isn't working at all. Uh, Alright, we've been going for a good six minutes now, so I need to actually start playing the game, I think. We're just gonna oop, stop poking the mic, that's probably the best idea. So if someone could let me know in the chat how my mic volume is compared to the game volume, I can always turn the the volume down on the game in the options if you can't hear me properly over the ambient noise. There we go, I actually got it working. Okay. Let me update this link. And let me tweet that out. Not that I suspect anyone's going to really. This seems better. Let me see what the. I think I can turn that option back now, actually. Still quite a bit of a delay, but at least I can see the chat now. Hopefully. I'm going to try and do something about my volume and then we can get to streaming. turn the in-game volume down a little bit so that you can hear me. How does that sound? I've turned subtitles on so that everyone can hear me at home so just let me know how that sounds. I will turn off that nonsense and we can have full screen once more ok 
okay I'll turn it down a little bit more and turn my headphone volume up a little bit now hopefully we'll be good I can't actually turn my mic volume up at the moment I don't think without stopping the stream so we're gonna have to put up with that because I'm not ending the stream and restarting it again so let's have that and hopefully once we get into the actual game we'll see so without further massive massive ado let's go okay I'm not gonna talk over the cutscene so yeah let's go I can talk during the loading screen I suppose but uh... yeah I don't know how loud the game's gonna get I'll probably stream for a little over an hour, an hour and a half so that little pop-up notification in the top right hand corner might get a little bit distracting but I might just have to put up with it reality is that which when you stop believing in it doesn't go away are you okay Simon? I think you're bleeding oh that, that's nothing it's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident here take this no that that's for later for the scan it's green Ashley, was I need to tell you something Simon please don't make this weird no, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? I'm up, I'm up, stop it. Yeah, I'm up. Uh. Hi, Simon Terra? <laughs> yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan, I remember. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Okay. All right. So my name is Simon Jarrett, and I am off to meet a guy called Munchie. See. Ooh. Where did I put the tracer fluid? See if I can find that tracer fluid. Nope. What is this? Is that a pen knife? Can I have that? I can pick it up. I can't open it. Oh well. Ooh. I don't need it then. Ah. I don't think I'll put those on. I'm indoors. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid. Ooh. Where are you? Robin McConnell's hooked. That looks like a gruesome book. Uh Mark and Diana Miller has finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Ugh. Slowly swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water, desperate to get out of harm's way. Their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Ooh. Actually, it does sound like it would be fun to read. Oh. Well, that's not much bigger than it. Never mind. Just put that back. Tracer fluid's not in there. Whoops. Oh well. Who needs a spoon? Ooh, I have a message.
sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Did you? Did you really? Mm -hmm. Nothing but clothes. Hmm. Ooh. Why do I have a picture of a coffee cup? Am I one of those kinds of people that just takes pictures of everything? I guess so. What's that tingling noise? What is that? Oh, is that the teaspoon I dropped? in the floor come here oh no I got it you go on the bed where you're not gonna cause trouble oh no oh phew radioactive tracer fluid in my desk drawers nope Another camera lens. Why do I keep these scattered around? Yeah. Hmm. This seems important. Downtown accident kills young woman. Friday, April 10th, 2015. Toronto. Yesterday a driver distracted by her children ran a red light causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children, travelling a robust SUV, 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 were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damage and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, that's me, 26, survived but with complicated results to believe to leave him with permanent brain damage. Oh good, I've got brain damage. The driver of the SUV, whose name has not been released by police, claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. Uh, someone won a game and got a surprise. Hmm. So I was in a car accident and I've got permanent brain damage. And my passenger died. That seems good. Yeah. What does that say? Uh, I can't make that out. Uh, it's just a notebook. What is this? Get well soon. Love, Mom. Oh, thanks, Mom. Picture of my feet. Okay, that's good. Grimoire presents Robin McConnell. I really love that guy's books, don't I? Oh, is that me and the dead lady? Oh. That's a nice picture. Okay, let's see if I really did send an email. Ah, Neurograph Session from David Munchie. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David Munchie. Dr. Aaron Peak, New Prescription Dear Mr. Jarrett, I am happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your, te your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. Your bleeding, the bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazosine to help with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I will see you next week. Sincerely, Dr. Aaron Peake. Wow, I got really bad brain damage. Saturday off. Jesse, oh, the good one. Whoops. 
yeah, that's kind of important when you're sending an email. I'll br blame the brain damage for that one. Hi Jesse, since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got the doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter, they're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people are actually able to see them. Good luck, you'll need it. Simon. Well, I'm kind of a dick to that guy. Better late than never. Yeah, after he already contacted you. Well, that's good. Let's see what the weather's like. Oh, summer's coming. Hope it's a it's nice day. Long. What a pleasant day. Lovely, uh, lovely view of the apartments across the street. Let's see if anything's on TV. Oh, what's this? Massive recoil. John Hugh is a corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. One day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner, who is kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triad. Get ready to go rogue, for it's time to go against the Triad, the police, and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recoil! Yeah! Right. Now we know what kind of TV films I like. Gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Oh, I can't watch TV. That's good. What can I do? And where's that trace of fluid? In the hair? Close your toilet seat. Filthy, filthy man. Ew. Pick up that trash. Is it in here? Nope. What do we have? Don. I guess that's deodorant. Toothbrush, toothpaste. What's this? Oh, nail clippers. Oop. See if there's a psycho in my shower. No. No. Oh, well, let's take a shower. I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Oh. I was ready to take a shower and everything. Oh well. Can I at least wash my hands? Eh. 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 Oh, there we go. Sorry, I just hit the mic again. Apologies if that was loud. Oh well. I better not leave the water running. Let's go. So it wasn't in the bathroom. Where did I put that fluid? In here? No. In the microwave? No. Uh, hmm? There it is. Ah. Soup. Better drink it. We all like sucking on pennies. Why have I got so many mugs? I don't need mugs. There. Who needs soap? That goes in the toilet. Toothpaste? In the toilet. Razor? Why do I have two of these? Get in the toilet. Two cans of deodorant. I don't need that. Get in the toilet. What is this? I can't even interact with that one. Hmm. This sink is filthy. Eh. Eh. Oh no. Eh. No well. Oh wow. I can lift my office chair. Yeah. Uh. Yes. No. I'm putting this office chair on the desk before I leave. No. Come here. Oops, sorry. Not again. Now that I know, I can 
pick the office chair up. It's going on the desk. Oh, you stay on the desk. Perfect. Now I have all this space. So many mugs. And all of them are probably dirty. Dirty mugs go in the bin. Anything in the fridge? Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier on my way home. What is this? Mayo? I don't need that. That's not... is that fast food? No, I guess he wrapped it up. What do we got here? Uh, Some sort of... Spaghetti bolognese, maybe? What's this one? The same? Pizza? Everybody loves pizza. What's this one? An empty... No, don't keep empty cups in your fridge. Ooh, packaged pizza. What is this? The paste. Sounds delicious. Another one of those ready meals. What's down here? I... More Don. Who the hell is Don and why is he all over my house? Ooh, who leaves french fries out on the side like that? That's disgusting. Well, at least I ate the burger. Mmm, familiar looking artwork. Can I take my coat before I go? Nope. I can take my sock. And my shoe. There's another one of these things. Unless this is the one I threw earlier. Oh well, these obviously clearly belong in the fridge. There. Now let's get going. Ooh, better check the mail. To Simon Jarrett, McCool Ave, 57, Toronto on Mst. Yeah, that sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, this guy's got a great diet. Kind of reminds me of myself. Ooh, what a nice looking train. Osgood Station. I'd better not stare at this lady, she might think I'm a creep. Let's stare at her while I'm on the phone. Jesse. Hey Simon, I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Maddie from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. You gotta let her go sometime, guy. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. How about not reminding your friend that he's about to die every day? That could be a nice thing to do. Oh, he did take the trace of fluid mayo. I took it right after I got it out of the cupboard. Before I started opening the fridge and throwing the food all over the apartment. Okay, we're here. What the hell is Hello? this place? Dr. Munchy? At least got a light on. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. That's a good question. Can I have this painting? Oh, That's a nice painting. Can I have this box? Oh, Can't even have this ladder. Oh, I can climb the ladder. Hey! Whee. Uh, I'm gonna help with the redecorating. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna paint it. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah. Paint. 
Oh, I can never paint. I'm not a very good artist. Oops. That looks like an on switch, not an off switch. Can I play with the cooler? Yeah, hot water, get your fingers under there. Anything in here? Gonna tip the contents on the ground. As any normal sane person would. That was a nice painting. I can't have anything around here except the paintbrushes. Can I have this mouse? Yes, it's a wireless mouse. Mine. Right. Seeing as no one's here, I guess I'll just take this mouse and go home. Eh. Eh. Oh, screw you. Can't give up yet. Oh, I thought it was locked. <laughs> I guess moving on. Oh, a numeric keypad. This is What's the, the bedding? Right? Yep. Must be. Let's That's give him a call. Come on, Mr. Munch. And his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Why should Dr. you? Dr. Munchy? Can you hear me? Hello? There's no one here. Oh well, time to go snooping, I guess. Anything on the computer? Scan now from David Munchy. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop at the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Get your stuff ready. Hi Paul, talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens up we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We'd, we could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash, so it'd be interesting. We're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security, talked to Professor Y, Y, We, to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget, Paul. Okay, so... a clue, but not the note. Is there a note? If amnesia taught me anything, always start from the bottom drawer. That's not a note. Are you useful? Nope. What about you? Nope. Whoop. What is this? What are you? Oh, a stapler. And... A pen holder? Nope. Aha! What are you? Trial and error. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. The brain has amazing transformative quality, a plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague, uh, David Munchy, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing, and we hope to accomplish this with the simple things like exercise, therapy, and light medication. But Munchy and Berg are not looking for a miraculous panacea. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called Nakajima Neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Munchy. Instead of a static brain scan, the Neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. 1. Damage brain scan to produce computer model. Numerous tests conducted on model without risk. Perfected treatment is then applied on patient. That sounds like an ideal sort of uh, thing. Trial and error. It is not a long forecast, it's about milliseconds, but with the right computer model, Berg and Munchy can then administer all kinds of treatments without risking actual harm to the real brain. 
We could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers while running a marathon, suggests Berg. It's just a computer model. We're able to fail treating you a million times over, only to find the right way. And when they do find that optimal treatment is when they apply it to the real patient. It's still in the early stages, but their project has caught the attention from Pace Laboratories, who has promised to assist them with both equipment and workspace. We are very fortunate to get all this support, says Berg. Now we just need to get out of the limelight and actually do the work. Okay, so it seems like a good thing they're trying to get onto here. Simulations of brains so they don't hurt the actual patient. This seems important, it's glowing, but what is this thing? Is that just a pencil? Oh yeah. Like a chopstick or something. Okay. Improved reverse projector technique. Uh, that looks important. 2501. 2501. 2501. 2501. Perfect. I'm a master. Master sleuth. Press and hold L2 while moving to run. Why? What do I got to run from? Or is it just a tutorial? Oh, that one's locked. But uh, it just doesn't seem to have to make me run from anything. What is this? Um, Friday Steve all day. Basically all I can make out there. Okay, what have we got? Empty, uh... Bottles of Jaws. Oh, everyone's favourite. No. Don't fall on the floor. You might fall through the floor. Get on that chair. Ooh, a brain. And lots of code. Anything else? Let's turn on the light. Eh. Anything interesting? Any books and notes and other nice things? Oh, it's ten past ten and the clock has stopped. Very nervous system. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that lovely texture. Wow, I can barely read it. Come on guys, this is the PS4. I know I'm not running on a high-end PC, but Jesus. Oh well, let's carry on. Never mind. In we go. Ah, this seems like the right place. Is that Munchie? Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Great, but let's talk to you some so more first. What exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> That's funny. It's only my life. You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years. Decades, even. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. Anything else, Doc? Oh, mister? I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. Okay, I will in a moment. <laughs> but this way you can never find it. Just uh give me a sec. Don't worry about it. 
I might have needlessly made my treatment go horribly wrong. But, eh, who cares? It's gonna be fine. Whenever you're ready. Okay, here we go. This seems safe. Feels wrong. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about getting into the chair. I think that might have been a bad idea. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Nothing could go horribly wrong. This isn't. This isn't a horror game or anything. Mr. Munchie? Well, at least I'm not strapped Did in. something go wrong? Uh, Munchie. Is this even the same room? I don't think this is the same this room. This isn't funny! Um, Munchie, where are you? Well, I guess I'll get up. Uh... I'm not supposed to put myself in... This is kind of stressing me out! Is that even the same chair? the hell? Hey! Anyone? It's so dark. What is this? I guess I'll... I guess this'll... This is a light switch or something? What the hell is this place? How did I get Whoa. it? Whoa. Uh, this isn't the lab. Uh, hello? Boop, 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 boop. Nope. Service console, insert Omni tool to access. Well, I sure don't have one of those. Chip installer, eh? Huh. Yeah, view the text. Make that text smaller and harder to read. Out I go. Or not. Uh, well, one thing I can try, I suppose. It's working. Yeah. Can I clear out the shards so I don't hurt myself? Oh. Yeah. Well, I guess not. Wow, I just passed straight through the glass. Ooh. Electric hazard. Oh, padlocked. Hmm. This this place seems uh seems fine. Do not enter. Always wear protective clo gloves and boots. I don't have either of those. I'd bring this. Gonna bring this fire extinguisher with me. Oh, is that what was holding the door open? Closed. Aha! Yeah. Uh -huh. Can I open this now? Yes. Well, that makes life easier when I need to come back to install a chip or something. Oh! Bit of a saving lag. What's this? Uh, nothing. If 
first aid. Make sure you are safe, apply first aid, call dispatch, wait for the responder. Recovery position, CPR, yeah, blah 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 blah. Oh good, the bathroom. Sure this'll go well. I'm sure that door noise won't uh, get to me at any point. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. oh, just an ordinary bathroom. Uh. Yep. Ew. I'm gonna close that. I think. Yeah. Don't think I'll be using that horrible bathroom. Ah, the break room. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Oh. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comm center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. Um. How did I do that? Well, that's a good question. And what the hell are them? What are they trying to keep out? They sound friendly. What's that noise? Ew. Ew. That oil. Well, I couldn't take a regular shower earlier, so let's take an oil shower. Ah, all oiled up. What do we have here? A comb. Oh, thank you, my hair's fine. Oh, that doesn't seem like it should be out. Munch print. Oh well. Ew, ah, oil. What is this? Curry mix. Mmm. Ugh. Kind of something rank. Oh, well, it's a nice picture, I guess. What is oh, I thought that was something smeared over the sign. It looks like some sort of map of the facility, I guess. Oh, oh let me out. Stupid chair. Eh. Okay, can I interact with this? No. Well, that doesn't seem safe, but it's fine. Okay, moving on. There's another door seal, I'll let that off in a moment. Is there anything over here? Another fire extinguisher. Doesn't look like I can go that way. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. What is that? What the hell? Is that my brain damage? What is this? Nope, that's not glowing, so I can't do anything. Wow. It's all pieces of robots. I guess these are. Ooh. Ooh, I can have this one. What is it? I don't want it. Anything in the lockers? What is that? Oh, is it gloves or something? Okay. 
Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got a phone call. <laughs> 